Advanced breast cancer is a situation where the disease is no longer localized in the breast and the axilla or the armpit, which is considered an extension of the breast. So it has moved from those areas to somewhere else in the body. Usually uh, the most frequent uh, places are bone, are liver, lung, lymph nodes, and which is the lymphatic system and sometimes the brain. To improve the lives of people living with advanced breast cancer today, there are many areas where uh, gaps have been identified and where improvement is urgently needed. And we can separate maybe in, um, let's call it the scientific gaps and what do we need to do better in terms of science and management of this disease. And what we do know is that the, this is still an incurable disease for the vast majority of cases. We also know that the medium time that people live with the disease, so the medium overall survival, is about two to three years. So obviously where we need to improve is in terms of better treatments, treatments that could aim for prolongation of life. Um, and. And, and so it must be a priority to develop uh, treatments that could change substantially the time that people are alive. The other area where is obviously there is a great need is to improve the quality of life. So quantity of life is obviously very important, but also the quality of the life that you live. So um, there are many things to do there. And then you can uh, move to another area and say what kind of support can we provide to these patients besides uh, the treatment uh, support and these patients need specific information dedicated to this specific uh, stage of the disease not just to cancer in general or to breast cancer in general so they need information and information that exists also in an easy way to understand in their own language around the world. And they need also other types of support. So sometimes we describe as supportive care, palliative care, psychological support, but also financial support, ways of accessing available uh, treatment. And something very important and very um, dear to me personally, which is the access to being treated by a multidisciplinary team and by a team of specialists, people who know and are specialized in treating this type of disease. And I could go on with many other needs and, and ways of improving the lives of patients, but um, uh, I think one of the last one I would like to mention is that Many patients, and we know from studies that have been done, feel that they, that I, they are alone. They feel lonely. They feel that they don't have anyone who listens to them, that they cannot speak freely about their fears and their, their disease. And there are a lot of taboos and a lot of stigma around this disease still. Very much like in the 60s and 70s, there was this stigma about the word cancer, and we wouldn't use that word. And so now it's the same, but for this specific group of uh, patients. So uh, what we can do certainly to improve is to educate everyone around this disease so that the patients do not feel lonely and feel that uh, they can speak about it and they can be supported by family, by friends, by patient groups by physician, nurses, and so on. The vision of the ABC Global Alliance is obviously to do everything to improve the quantity and the quality of life of patients with advanced breast cancer. Uh, we can have short-term objectives, medium-term and long-term objectives, but all of them 
would lead to this vision that we need to improve uh, the quality and quantity of life of these patients.